So somebody had asked about how I remount to 530 seconds on the shank. It's a bit like this. 530 seconds, 4 millimeter, same thing basically. But the one I have has this, uh, I'm sure there's a name for that. Just like that. <laughs> Whatever it's called. On a kind of a fancy, fancy little ratcheting screwdriver here. But any of these exchangeable bit screwdrivers would work. Boop. Magnetic pops in there. And so you can just start in there and gently ream it out. Clean out the schmutz in there. And if it was drilled at an eighth or something like that, it'll open it up. So that's one of the things that I do to make a more smokable estate pipe. Most new pipes, every new pipe I've ever had, comes... First of all, it's real clean, so it's not all congested with schmutz, you know. Um, but new pipes seem to be drilled to four millimeters or five thirty seconds as they come with it. Old pipes, though, a lot of them seem to have smaller, smaller shank openings, smoke hole, smoke channel dimension. How I do it. Smoking a uh, rich era hummingbird. A rich era custom built. Smoking some McClellan Oriental. So it's a mixing, blending tobacco. But I got it just to try pure Orientals. So, these wonderful premium Greek and Turkish Oriental tobaccos are mildly sweet with a delicate herbal or spicy aroma. It's pretty true. Kind of like a Virginia, but uh, without that kind of sour... I find Virginia sometimes have a kind of sour undertone. These are lacking that. They're really light. And it's a nice ribbon cut that um, I had opened, but I really haven't used much out of it. Um, dark to light ribbon cut. And it burns... Uh, Surprisingly well. I think it was going to be too damp. The most prized varieties requested here, represented here, are in various combinations the exotic base or condiment tobaccos at the heart of the finest Oriental or quote unquote English mixtures. I got some uh, Latakia in a similar tin, and that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, to smoke just pure Latakia, which is really hard to keep lit. And you'd think, oh my gosh, it's going to be so strong, but it's not. It's really, uh, really smooth and uh, smoky, but amazingly smooth. It's just really hard to keep lit. But you'd think it'd just be a total bomb, but it's not. So. Anyway, this is good. I like to just kind of try different stuff out. Gotta love these custom belts. Look how thick that rim is. Yeah. Plus, it makes for a fairly short smoke because it's uh, not very deep bowl. Deep and wide bowl, so you do kind of need a drier tobacco, I think, to, and an evenly cut tobacco to burn very well technically in these, these wide shell holes, but it's got the look.
So most of us uh, older guys who aren't like super lean, um, got a little tummy, okay, that's good. But I'll tell you, pipe cleaner here, who, who said that, uh, pipe cleaners, you think guys, you guys treat them like $20 bills. So in other words, use more pipe cleaners, you'll have a better smoke. Because they aren't $20 bills. How much are they? Two bucks for 50 or 100 of them, maybe? Pretty cheap. Nice. So, some of us older guys, we were talking the other night. Um, and you know, uh, we just live in such an oversexed society, you know, as far as marketing goes. It's just like, who comes up with this stuff? You know, skinny jeans, uber tight clothes, you know, it's just like, really? And you Euro guys and Brits, you have it bad. So. Fashion victims. Yes, you ask me. I like loose. So, I came up with a term. Make it fit when you sit. Think about that. Many of us, not all of us, many of us, spend most of our time sitting. We probably should. We should have stand-up desks. Uh... You know, we should we should be standing and walking and moving more than just sitting at a desk. I'm a, I'm terrible at that. I used to have a stand-up desk and it was awesome. So I'm I'm moving towards that again. Except then, I'm tall enough that I sit up above the top of the panels. It's so distracting. Everybody sees you there and they go, Oh, hi. Oh, that, well, I meant to talk to you about this and that. And it's just like. So distracting. But I digress. Um, so we spend most of our time sitting to our ill health. So, what do we size our clothes for, particularly our trousers? For standing and snug at that, because the style is for. Uh, unnaturally skinny people to be modeling clothes. <laughs> it's just so sick. It's just like, what? Where did, we, how did we get here? You know? I tell you. So clothes are, you know, you think you're only looking good when you're in like these form-fitting clothes. And you realize that when you're not in form-fitting clothes. And you go, oh, I feel kind of conspicuous here. But screw it. I do it anyway. So, what I've done is I've found loose work pants with a great cell phone pocket. It just is like perfection to have your your cell phone. Not that I'm such a phone person, but you just always know where it is. It stays put. It's not in a pocket where you sit that it <laughs> breaks the phone or something like that. Anyway, some Carhartt... Uh, Twill work pants. They happen to be double knee, which is kind of nice too. But they're really big and roomy. So, so I thought, you know, I'm going to measure myself when I'm sitting and when I'm standing. So, and everybody's waist varies, you know. After a big meal, um, And somebody you want to impress walks by. No, I'm just um, so I'm about a 40 waist standing. I'm a 42-ish waist, meaning a little more than that. <laughs> Sitting. So I thought, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna buy some pants that are actually uh, 
fit me when I sit. But you can't wear a belt with them because to keep them on when you're standing, you got to really cinch it down. And if you got a little bit of a belly, it's even harder to keep your pants up. <sighs> so, so you end up either buying real tight pants that don't necessarily need a belt to stay up, standing. But then when you sit, it's like you know muffin top roll over. Or, well, belt just doesn't work with that scenario. So, suspenders. Suspenders work great. Kind of old-timey. Kind of goes with the pipe. In fact, this whole clothing scenario I'm talking about kind of goes well with the pipe. <laughs> and I'll tell you, you reach a certain age, and you just don't care what people think. So you go for comfort. So, so I bought these uh, pants, a size bigger, 42s, and they're already pretty loose. And then I hold them up with trucker suspenders. And it's a revelation. It's like so comfortable, it's beyond belief. It is beyond my, my expectation that I had for comfort. So, so they're sized to fit right when you sit, but because of the suspenders, they just kind of hang on you when you stand. And they, they are roomy, so they don't fit the common... Yeah, it's raining. The common fashion thing that everybody adopts without even thinking about it driven by marketing, I would say. And of course women have it way worse. We're lucky as guys. I mean, we can kind of just dress the way we want. But until you discover that suspenders with a size larger waist, I mean, it's just like so comfortable. And I remember suits you could wear with suspenders. And I remember how comfortable suit pants often were. So, um, yeah, this just carries on with that. Anyway, they fit when you sit. So it's raining. We've had the rainiest fall on record, I think, or the rainiest October on record here in the Pacific Northwest. Have we hit that point yet? We were vying for the title. And I'd say it's working pretty hard to uh, to get the award. So this is the other side of the Pacific Northwest. A beautiful place. Summers are just magnificent. You know, they aren't ever too hot. They're perfect. But winters, you know, in this morning, it was like, is it light yet? I can't tell. Because <laughs> it was so overcast, you know, it was like this gloomy twilight thing, and it's it's very moist out. So, so there, are all you Californians thinking of moving up here, stop it. Come up here during the winter, not just the summer. I mean, you tell yourself, you dress in uh, wax cotton and wear a big hat and you tell yourself it's only water. It's only water. So I'm soaked. It's only water. And that helps. And you do the north Northwest thing and drink a lot of coffee. And it keeps you is good. I, it's kind of monochrome. Um, it's smooth. It's non-bitey. Uh, it burns well. 
has some nice, not grassy like Virginia, but um, still a little meadowy sense about it. And it is a little spicy. There's a little spice in it. Probably won't do a lot of it, <laughs> but <laughs> it's an interesting uh, side note. You know, tobacco, there's like, what, five different kinds of tobacco, literally, and so we have thousands of blends. Um, it's just fun to try different. Like water. <laughs> <laughs>